Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to give you a uh, synopsis of what I'm seeing in the markets here on Wednesday, May 15th, uh, 3.11 my time, Eastern Standard. Uh, here's the current status of the markets. The markets are going absolutely crazy right now in crypto. You can see them. Litecoin is up 8.29%. Uh, These are hourly moves. Bitcash, uh, 4.95. Bitcoin, 1.16. Ethereum at 3.4. And Ethereum Classic at 5.11. So that puts our uh, weighted average at very high at 5.876. Now, the one thing I wanted to highlight here is what is on the current uh, watch list. I also have been tracking some other ones as well, um, but they're pretty well the same, I would imagine. Um, there are some new ones on there as well, but I just wanted to uh, show you what I'm seeing uh, in the market here. So I've generated all these charts uh, for for uh, these pairs plus more. So I'm gonna go uh, take a look at them. All right, so there's this one here that's been doing really well called Adam, Adam BTC. And uh, I just wanna show you the performance. Now this is over the last two days. A couple of things that I've noticed when I've been testing this new watch list of position manager, I've come across some instances of where, uh, for instance, let me just show you here. Well, it doesn't matter. But what I can see, will show you, is you'll get instances something like this. If you know I'm using the 618 as my entry, but we still get these false positives. So let's say that this point right here was to go up to 6.18. What that means is, if it does go up to the level that I want, on the Fibonacci level at 618, and then it suddenly drops back down. One trading rule you have to add is to make sure uh, to measure that there's positive uh, momentum or a momentum of a certain parameter to ensure if it does uh, cross the 618. Actually, it's not just 618 touching it, meaning greater than or equal to. It's got to be greater than... Um, and also that the prior set of hours have to be strong enough to carry that trend forward so that you know it won't, um, for about two or three hours, hover at around 618 or, or a little bit higher and then suddenly drop back down. We don't want that. So we have to make sure that our trend over a certain amount of time is uh, strong enough to carry it forward. So like, for instance, if we know that this kind of trend here uh, not only crosses a 618, but it will at least for sure get to 786. So that's what we need to look for. Now, the other question is, part of my most position manager, what it does is it will use 618 as the entry meeting these conditions. Uh, not only that, but it has to, uh, once it hits a 786, it takes profit right there it'll put a new order in if it thinks it'll continue to go up to let's say level 100 uh because if it hits the 100 usually for my testing it usually drops off it it it, it usually as you can see here it'll hit 3a2 drops off or 618 drops off or breaks through the 618 and then we'll test at the 786 and then uh, drop off a little bit so you take profit here and then you have a second leg up if there is with a new position from 786 to level 100 and uh, usually I have not yet seen in this crazy uh, very bullish uh, cryptocurrency market the last week or two not break through the one over it and this is again I have to stress this is a two-day uh, chart all this data you're looking at price action is um, is uh, <clears throat> uh, hourly data. All right, so those are some of the conditions that I look for. But this one's a new one, and it's been fairly strong uh, sometimes. Uh, that was a good move. So let's look at Bitcoin Cash. <clears throat> I 
There's another one, and we'll talk about each one of these. Now, one of the very strong uh, hints I want you to uh, understand this new regime, which it really is, is we have out of, I don't know, let's say 10 uh, on the watch list, only one is using Ethereum as the stable coin. So the rest, um, there's always an exception. This TRX, uh, or Tron in XRP, that's the only other exception I've seen. And it's still doing okay. Uh, but we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. But the rest are all in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new stable coin. So I have to adjust for that. Um, because again, Bitcoin has been the strong uh, performer over the last month or a couple of weeks. So the opportunities are now switching over into Bitcoin now. And uh, I can show you that obviously here. So um, one of the things when you're starting out and you're testing uh, with real live money, one thing you need to be aware of is to see, let me just show you, make sure you know this, API trading rule. Actually, it's just trading rule. One thing you need to understand is if you're going to start out, one thing I cannot stress is uh, the uh, you don't want to go full throttle if you don't know what you're doing. So you got to start with very minimal trades. And these are the minimal trades. Uh, maybe it is API. Um, I used to have it. There's API trading rules. Um, anyways, uh, okay, well, let me just tell you this. So essentially, when you put on a minimum bet for in Bitcoin, it has to be 0 .01, 0 .01 uh, Bitcoin. So right now, uh, that is $81. So in order to do a test <laughs> uh, in Bitcoin, you better have some balls of steel that this is, or maybe, sorry, I think it's maybe this one. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's this. Uh, 0 0.001 Bitcoin to USD. So the minimum... Uh, it'll cost you uh, to do a test is uh, $8.14 in US dollar. Now, in Ethereum, which I used to do, it's not so bad. It's about two, three dollars. Might be a little different now. Yeah, so it's two forty. And then XRP, I think it was ten XRP. Uh, I'm, I don't, I'm pretty sure this has not changed. Um, but. Uh, Let's see, this one's a good one. So you are looking at uh, 10, it's $4.30. So that's the minimum you gotta put in US dollars per test trade um, for these. And hopefully you get some winning ones too. Uh, so you don't eat into your uh, uh, trading account on Binance. All right, so that we know that. Eesh. Uh, let me get rid of that. There you go. Anyways, um, so I've shown you the Atom BTC. Uh, and uh, let me just show you the other ones. So we'll, we'll look at uh, BCH, Bitcoin Cash. Now, if you don't know on Binance, this would be a better browser. Um, all right, so if you go over to Binance.com, just to give you a heads up on Bitcoin Cash, it's not my favorite coin right now because it's very confusing. If you look at, for Bitcoin Cash, there's no such thing as Bitcoin Cash, but Bitcoin Cash ABC. So uh, I think this is the equivalent, um, I don't know if it's renamed, but it's at least Bitcoin Cash ABC. So that's what you got to call it now in uh, 
so let me just see if I can do that. It's bizarre. I think using CCXT, the Python, so if I go BCH, BTC, ah, doesn't matter. But I just want you to know that this is the new label, I believe you have to call it, BCH, ABC. All right. So knowing that, let's look at some charts. So this one's a little, not weird, but another test that I'm going to have to use as part of my, um, before I take a potential trade or even put it on a watch list, really. You can see here, the peak it hit here is at one or 100 level or just like, like it touches 786 all the time. So these Fibonacci levels are very useful. Anyways, like I was saying, you can see a, this is a two day uh, view. You can see here we have a downtrend overall. Okay. So one thing I need to test is to make sure that the overall price performance that I get over the hourly data on the close price is greater than whatever is set at level 500. Okay, that's, that's, that's important because that tells me uh, that this has, got a, a, has had a strong trend over the last uh, a few days, la at least, la yeah, over the last close to two days. Okay, because if it only has, in this case, Bitcoin Cash, where it's, let's say, roughly the average price here is clearly over the level 500, um, it suddenly drops down below level 500 here. Uh, that tells you it's probably not going to do well. Even though it hits a 618 on the entry, it's just, in this case, it did hit the 786, which is good. And it took profit. Boom, I'm a winner. That is luck, okay? But I've had uh, one trade where, uh, I'll show you in a minute, BNB Ethereum, where uh, it was not the overall price, uh, average price of the whole mean of it was not above the level 500. So therefore, it does hit the 618 entry, but then it drops, and then you lose, you have an unprofitable trade. So you want to make sure that the average of a two-day performance on the hourly move on the closing price is above this level 500. As you can see here, which would be this, all right? So that's that's a test I'm gonna use. All right, so um, what else we got here? So we have Dash uh, against Bitcoin here. So, oh, uh, BNB, yes, this is a good, this is the only one against Ethereum, okay? Everything else other than the TRX XRP are all in Bitcoin. So this one, again, similar to Bitcoin Cash, this has been an absolute mind-bending performer, okay? So if you go to our tradingview.com and you look at the performance since the beginning of the year, this has been absolutely the number one uh, performer on Binance uh, between December and April. I'm just going to show you that now. You can see it's just been basically throwing money, guaranteed profit, up until about middle April 19th. Choppy, and then it just come, came back down. So it may come back up, but right now compared to the other ones, it's a clear, a very clear underperformer. Okay, comparatively, you see that downtrend over the last two days. Uh, so that means basically you might get the odd trade here, like here, that has hit the 618, but the performance has just sucked with this overall downward trend. So we got a test for this average price has to be higher than that 500. It minimizes the trading opportunity for sure, but at least it preserves your account. Okay. So do note that. Next up, BNB. Uh, so we'll do Dash against uh, Bitcoin here. All right. Oops. 
All right, so this one has done not good either. Uh, it, it, it's just been downtrend, 500, and it's trending up. So it, this is a very, I'll show you some good ones. Uh, but you can see here, it's just not one you take. This one would be a, a loser as well. This one, just luckily, uh, the 618, and, and it did break through the 786 and the 100. So I think, I'm not sure if that test is a, a valid one, but we'll see against other um, against other uh, pairs. So this one, Ethereum against Bitcoin, I think will be one of those uh, winners, hopefully. No, it's not. And it just suddenly, see it's below the 500 for a majority of the time, and then just suddenly shot up. But you can see here uh, the 618, 786, take profit, hits the 100, and that just peters around here. But as the day moves on, and as long as this pair, Ethereum Bitcoin, stays on the uh, on the watch list, what will happen is the window will move forward as time progresses. So. Essentially, this line will drop down because uh, it, the with the Fibonacci's they'll get re, they they get retra uh, not rechased they'll get refreshed and then this will eventually with all this performance will uh, uh, drop away. So that's Ethereum Bitcoin. So this one right now is a is the big winner, the Litecoin against Bitcoin. Uh, so let's check this out. Again, just below the 500, but just a sudden rise. And again, sprips, I'll even use the word smashes through 718, 786, and then it just peaks at the 100. Okay, let's look at the other ones. Uh, XMR. XMR lately has just not been cutting it. Uh, see, it's just been below that 500. And then it's, it's come back. It's just these are random movers. Uh, the other one we can look at is uh, XMR. I think that's it. Oh, I, I missed one. The uh, TRX. TRX. TRX against XRP. This one's not moving at all. <laughs> See, it's just, it's just, it's just the price is just, it's too tight. It can move, but um, you get this occasional bar here. But it's a tough one to watch. Let's see what else we have here if it's been updated. So same performers. Uh, but um, interesting enough, if I look at Let's say if I go over to coin market cap. Another way to trade these in this market, I've been thinking, is doing this. Taking, let's say, watching the top, I don't know. Let's say I'm going to use the top six, okay? So let's do, actually, what I want to show you, maybe I'll show you the trades from this morning. Uh, that I woke up to. Now these are all mock trades I'd like to mention as well. All right, so what we have here is the PNGs. So these are the performance since last night. Neo was the one that really threw me off. Okay, a position was put on. No, oh, sorry, BNB Ethereum. That really threw me off. So. The logic here sits, okay, so we have this mover, trend's moving up, good, 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 and look at it, hits that 618 for the next, I don't know, two, three hours, and then, then it drops back below the 618. That's a losing trade. So this meets the condition for the entry, meets the condition on a recent strong 
uptrend momentum wise, but it drops back off. So that's not good. Hey, so here's what I was thinking of doing as a way to trade. So as I showed you on coin market cap, we have the six top six here. So let me um, check those out. Uh, yeah, one other one I want to show you is uh, was it Dash? I think it was Dash BTC. Uh, see here, this condition was met six one eight seven eight six one hundred, and that's the trend that we want to see. Um, so you know, but this this trend. Uh, pro I don't know if somebody was testing the market here, but if my system was to take this trade, which it would, take the trade. And probably dump the trade because now it's it thinks it's going to go below and drop below 618. Dumps the trade, but yet an hour, two hours later, boom, it goes back up, meets the condition that we want, which sucks. So those are two trends uh, that we need to be aware of. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Now... The other way to win at this is to do what they call hodling, buy and hold. Well, maybe. <laughs> but this is what I was thinking. Let me just go back to where I wanted to go. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So I got this script here, chart price action. Okay, so we got the price action. I'm going to look at BTC, USDT again, USD, uh, US dollar, Tether. For two day performance, and let's check out what this presents. So, Bitcoin's been on a tear lately, as you know. Let's how see how it's been doing for the last two days. So, generally, generally, it, it this is following exactly what we want 618, 786, boom, it, it does exactly what we want. 618 entry 786 may not may not hit the 100 if it does or doesn't it won't matter it'll wait it out but if it goes back to 786 dump the trade and you're on a break even that's what I'm hoping to do so hold on so how how many how many trading opportunities were there for that so you got uh one two well it's one one so it's remember it's in two legs it's entry here at 618, take profit at 786 level, and then dump that trade, take profit, <clears throat> and then open up a new position. If if the conditions meet, which usually it will, take that 786 all the way up to level 100. And we have this other opportunity here, 618, 786. So, it, so the last two days, there would have been two positions that would have cre uh, been profit. So that's number one. So if we look at Ethereum, let's see if it follows the same uh, pattern. So let's see if this works. This is where I was inspired to build this trading logic, but it only seems to work maybe in uh, US. Uh, USDT tether. So here it kind of works here. Uh, not much movement here, but here's the 618. Let me just blow this up. Okay, so 618 is the purple line. So it does meet that condition here. So it was one opportunity that did it. That trend did happen in Ethereum USDT. Let's see if it works in XRP. Um, so that's for Ripple. These are sort of things I look for. Uh, predictable trends. But this, this may be one of them. Uh, so let's see. XRP USDT. 
So it's, these are tight. Hold on. Am I? Yeah, so I'm capturing two days worth. So here, 618. So here's one. 618 blows through the 786 profit. Uh, we have another one here, profit. I mean, these kind of conditions we could make, we could trade in, but uh, from what I'm seeing all the time, it doesn't happen all the time. So it might happen 25% of the time. So I'm not going to uh, waste my time tr uh, building that trading logic. The other one we're looking at is open. Uh, I don't know if this, if this may work. B. I don't know if this exists. So we're doing big. Oh, there's Bitcoin Cash against USDT. BCH US. So look at that. Oh, wow. This is a nice one. 618. Hits a seven eight six, boom, does it again, goes up to one hundred, does it three times, nice. And remember, that's over the last two days. Next one, Bitcoin Cash, like this one might be uh, pretty good. Litecoin. Okay, Litecoin, USDT. Okay, so we only have the most recent, but it did it did follow that logic. Six one eight entry broke through seven eight six, but it did eventually hit today. Actually, the one hundred. So that that's that. Those are nice moves. The next one we'll do is EOS. I'm going to check a couple other ones based upon volume. So we have EOS. Uh, so this may only work for USDT. Uh, 618 broke through 786. 618, yep, went through the 786 and it did touch that one 100. Lovely. We got ourselves a working strategy here, maybe. And this, again, this is over the last two days. So we're just going to move down the ladder here. So we're now we're going to do BNB USDT. Okay. Uh, open BNB USDT. Yeah, there you go, 618, 786, and it hits the 100. And, that, and as I keep saying, it always peaks at these levels, 786 or 100. But I've always seen 618, 786. Uh, so let's, uh, is Stellar is, I think, X, yeah, XLM. So we'll, we'll try out uh, new ones, USD. Uh, so we don't have to worry about um, XLM, USDTT. We'll look at Cardano. So XLM. Uh, tight condition, but did the one time, yeah. So this is good. All right, so let's check out um, Cardano, ADA. And that's the top 10. And this trend works. A lot. So let's see. Open ADA USDT. All right. So again, six one eight uh, in cyan here, purple. Yep, yeah, it did exactly. It peaks at one hundred, and this is where I've seen these trend for. So it only will work in uh, USDT. I'm okay with that. All right, so Monero, uh, we'll do two more. Let's do Tron TRX. You 
USDT. Again, 618 right here. Seven, uh, 786. And it, wow, continuously hits the. Uh, so. Now, I don't know how long this will last. Uh, XMR. USDT. Uh, XMR. That's from Monero. So we've done Tron. Now we're doing um, Monero. XMR, USDT. It's 100%. Wow, nice move. 618, 786, and it peaks at that 100. Amazing. Open dash. Uh, okay. So dash USDT. I'm 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 really impressed. This is almost every single top 13 it, it works for. Wow, this is really good. Open. That is very predictable. Okay. Again, six one eight. Now you would have had a losing trade there, but it would have broke through here, 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 and it. Always peaks at 100. Should I do one more? Should I do two more? Let me do three more. Okay. So I've seen Miota a lot. Um, BSV. I thought Binance got rid of BSV, but they still have it. If this didn't exist, it would bomb, but it does exist. So, you, so we're doing Bitcoin SV right now. Wow, just came in out of nowhere. Well, still early, but it but that trend clearly 618, 786. So you would have made money there. Will it hit the 100? Probably, because you could tell that the peak was at 100. I just find that bizarre. Okay, so let's look at Miota. Iota. Miota. Yeah, Miota USDT does not exist. Tezos, I think we're going to start finding, struggling to find these crosses for uh, USDT. So we're doing XTC Tezos. This may or may not exist, but I'm just pushing it. Yeah, it doesn't exist either. No problem, but we can go all the way up to the top 14. That is pretty impressive if you want my opinion. So who knows? Now let me let me talk to you about if you're like me, go to uh, quantlabs.net, blah 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 blah. Um, this is why I think this is big. So if you go into the store and you go under Python. Single courses right here for Python courses. If you learn this framework, you'll be able to quickly bang out strategies and bots to adjust for these exact conditions that I like this one I just discovered and have discovered. And I'm being honest, I didn't see this in this. I'm not, I just came up with this in, in this video. So, what you'll learn in this is the infrastructure, it'll tell you how to quickly. Build the infrastructure you would need to be able to do things like what I'm doing here. Get, gather the momentum of the market. So as, as we hinted, it was at five point something. Now it's at 3.17. So the momentum of the overall market has dropped off. Still strong, but it's dropped off. Um, where you can build out your own watch list. Very important because... Uh, in the videos, I talk about how I do this, how I maintain it, how you get more predictable results with this type of watch list, um, and other things as well. Uh, the charting, the charts I just showed you, um, lots, lots of important stuff here. Uh, and once you learn it, you can quickly adapt and be able to, with confidence, be able to create new strategies uh, to work in the market. I have seen in the last month, because as I said, this is May 15th, 
So for four months, I have had a strategy that worked awesome. What I just showed you being this one here, BNB Ethereum, which was the strong performer with Litecoin Ethereum, it, it, it did well till right here, 20th of April. And it just dropped back down. Will it come back or drop back? back? I don't know. But at the end of the day, my the strategy broke down on this date or thereabouts on sometime in mid mid April, and we now have Bitcoin coming along and taking over and outperforming these other ones that traditionally the last four months have been very very strong. And what I'm noticing is even though these winners or so called winners here, uh, I don't know how to I don't know how to trade them because as I showed you. I'm like, well, it, this is not working as you would think it should. You test it, does not work. But then you come up with this other methodology of, of uh, doing what I just did and walked you through exactly what you could do with this by using and showing you in USDT uh, that... Uh, So all these other ones in USDT as a new strategy I could come up with that would, with a lot of predictability, be able to get me profit. But how long will that last? I don't know. But what I'm trying to stress here is when you learn this kind of course and get the skills that you need to be able to adapt in the market that you need to and then be able to quickly code up a new strategy, it would take you literally a few hours. Uh, so for me to trade up or to, to put together a new strategy uh, with this USDT, it won't take long at all. Uh, all I need to do is just have my system uh, accept USDT as the stable coin and then only work with those strong performers. And they'll come up on my watch list. Simple. So that's what I need to do. Uh, and I'll come back once it's done and show you hopefully some decent results instead of wasting my time with what I've been doing the last two, three days. And that's the other thing is uh, identifying these trends as the market evolves, knowing this skill, this framework will save you a ton of money or a lot, it'll, still, it'll save you a ton of money and you won't lose out before you catch the trend um, because we don't know how long that, that trend will last in USDT. Um, and then there'll, there'll be another regime that will throw you off and you'll find it by testing all this stuff and adapt to that. But once you have your majority of a system working, you just adapt to whatever the market tells you. But um, with this USDT business as, as a stable coin, who knew? Um, and just focus on the top was it 14, let's say, or top maybe 15. Well, let's just say top, yeah, 14 or top 10. Uh, you can make some occasional nice money in USDT, but it's nice profit because you're going to get from what I've seen on the different legs up. Let's show you Litecoin. Uh, Litecoin. Litecoin USDT. So, from my calculations, if you use a 618 as your entry, that move up to 786, that's a 1% move on average. If you allow the system, uh, you want to guarantee your profit here. That's why I, I have a new system or new position script that will take the trade. Uh, sorry, yeah, take the trade, take profit, and open up a new position as a new entry point at 786 with a predictable move of hitting one and that's it because it oscillates between those levels and the other level between 786 to one is a one percent move in profit and if you're able to see that with let's say the top 10 you're going to get from what i'm seeing maybe five six seven eight percent moves among these top 10 using this methodology that's what I'm hoping. So identifying these is helpful, but also knowing this, this course to give you that, 
gives you that skill to adapt and not leave money on the table and missing out on those opportunities when you identify them. Now, you asking me about machine learning, I think machine learning is fine, but the problem with machine learning is you got to build the, uh, the data set, you've got to build the classifiers, then you got to run the simulation, and then you hope that it gives you the results you want. If not, you got to go big, bang, bang uh, recalibrate all your parameters, run another test. And remember, if you don't have the rig set up to run the simulations and to get the results fast, machine learning is going to be, I hate to say it, useless because, um, especially in crypto, the regime changes. It's just, that's just the way it is. I've had for the last, uh, let's say, seven, eight months since the fall of 2018, I've seen this, the market switch four times. So we're now in our fourth market regime change. And this is a new one that seems to work. Okay, so uh, something I would consider. And this course will help you have the infrastructure in place. That's why I call it the infrastructure so that you can now uh, adapt to that regime. Because once you're trading off a market regime and have a strategy built around that and the regime breaks down, you're now screwed because you're not only going to potentially not make money, but lose money. And then all of a sudden your, uh, your potential profit is not there anymore. So you got to do something, but having the skill to have the infrastructure in place and just tr change the, uh, indicators or the trading logic to get more profit using something like I showed you with the USDT or tether, uh, you'll do fine. And that's pretty well it. So I'm going to shut up now. If you want this course, as I said, just go to the Python courses here under the store and make your purchase. And uh, as this stuff builds value, it'll go up. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.